Hey, welcome back to Garrock Farms and today we're going to be having an overview on the chickens and I know you guys might have been waiting for this a while but the coop hasn't really been clean for a while because it's been winter and they need their bedding pack. So today we're going to be cleaning them out, showing you the ins and outs of the chickens we have here on Garrock Farms and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get at it. Alright, so we're going to be taking off this door panel and we put it on for the winter so that the chickens are and the coop stays warm but in the summer we're gonna take it out because this whole thing is tin and it can get very hot so the plan is to take this off and not only will it be cooler in the coop but we'll get more airflow and we usually put it up on this wall we hang it on this wall and then we'll use it when it comes fall and it gets colder again we'll also open up these windows to get more airflow as well up top there's even latches if if it's like a super hot day or it's just really like musty in here we can open those up as well after we take off that panel we got to take out the two corn feeders and the ladder and then after we get some of the manure out we'll uh take out Probably the roost as well. to shovel out here got the bobcat now here and I also got this mask because chicken manure is probably the worst to deal with I personally think because it gets up all in your throat and just clogs up your whole system and I don't want that because I'm in track and I'm running long distance I'm running I'm racing like a mile and the two mile my respiratory system is probably the most important system while I'm doing that and I always want a clear uh, throat and nose and yeah, that's why I got this mask to wear. I think I'm gonna clean the nest boxes here so then I don't have to worry about re-cleaning the floor once I'm done cleaning the floor. And to clean the nest boxes, we got this little shovel here. I'm probably gonna be doing it mostly with hand, my hand, but uh, the harder stuff, I'll use a shovel. Look at her. <laughs> She's having a good time. All right, so we got that out of the way and now pretty much it's just the easy part now. We just got to shovel all this out and the only really 
maybe difficult thing would be getting underneath the nest boxes but otherwise it's just shoveling which is kind of simple but it's going to take a while probably another hour there's a lot a lot of manure and there's a ton of corn from the chickens and the, the corn that they didn't want to eat there's a lot of that here mixed with chicken manure and straw well, i'm gonna get a shovel and shovel all this out here Alright, so we are done cleaning out all the manure and now it's just time to put the coop back together and bed up the nest boxes and we're done. back together now all we got to do is uh, bed up the nest boxes and uh, put this in the manure spreader Alright guys, meet Karen, this is Chad's wife, there's reason why uh, Chad never is home in the coop anymore and is out in the calf barn all the time is because Karen's always home and I mean I don't blame him, 
I mean, Karen's a little. Yeah, I don't blame Chad. He he's a good he's a good chicken. Anyways, we're done, and we got the chicken coop cleaned. And I mean, in some parts of the chicken coop, it was like two feet deep, and it really really needed a cleaning. So I'm really glad we could do this. Now I hope they're really happy. So yeah, that was a great accomplishment on the farm here. I hope you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, we are hoping to get chicks in the next couple months. It might be a little late. I'm gonna be calling around to hardware stores and seeing if they're still buying uh, chicks. So stick around and wait for that video when we get new baby chicks. But yeah, anyway, it's all done. It's cleaned and it's great. So please like and subscribe and uh, yeah. Peace out.